Hi everybody, this is the Bubble Burst tutorial. So let's dive in. We're going to start with the Geosphere. Uh, right now it doesn't matter the size too much. I'd like to make it like this size. And let's see what we have here. We have a very good density, but I think we should need more. Something like this. Is probably enough. Okay, now let's call this geosphere meter, and let's see where it is. It's right here. I'm gonna play a little bit with the noises. I'm gonna play a noise. Let's see how is it. Point zero one, the point zero one, something like this. A little bit more. Two, two, and two. There it is. Bigger. Of course, you can do it the way you want. And now let's play with the animation. And let's add more frames. Fill two hundred frames. There it is. Let's bring here the out keyframe. And let's see what's going on. Right now, I have configured 3ds Max with the filters uh, to make to make an automatic animations in linear. So this is linear here. The animation. Let's see the timing. Uh, I think it's, it's too fast for me. So I'll bring it out half of it. The phase is 80, let's bring it to 40. Mm, that's better. So I'm gonna save this. And let's let's bring the dive flow. I'll place it right here so I can see it and select it every time I like. Let's open the flow. And let's burst in a surface automatically the birth in the surface uh, select I mean place every particle in vertices you can see uh, here you can choose whatever you want but by default is vertices so this is good I'm gonna change the display option to sprites and they have also a default size I think it's good enough of course you can change it but I don't, I don't think I need to change it this is good for me also the sprite is showing the exact size of the particle so it's really nice to have it like this so what else we need we need these particles to move along with our animation so somehow we need to make these particles stick to the ball and for that we have the object bind we select the ball the geosphere and we lock it to the surface now we move with the ball saving okay so we need a trigger something to trigger these particles so I'm gonna make another a simple sphere a, ti a tiny one maybe here and I want this this let me make let me see I want this ball this little sphere to grow here maybe 150 and I want I want the, the sphere co to cover my whole uh, geosphere you can somehow see the effect happening here. Imagine this is going to explode, you know, some particles to the some particles to the next event. So they will starting here. They will be starting here, and then they will cover the whole ball. So I'm call, I'm calling this ball um, trigger. And let's hide it just in case. Leave it like this. Well, let's leave it like this. So we can see more or less what's going on. Let's open the flow again, saving, and I'm going to bring a test here. 
uh, a surface test should be enough. This is the surface test. And because I want to select particles once they are inside the ball, in trigger, I'll pick this trigger. Um, the, I have the type flow turn it off, so I think. Let's, so we have our trigger. He's selecting the particles, but we are not seeing anything because we need to add a display to see it. So I'm going to select Sprite, and now you can see what's going on. Once he's selecting it, nothing happened to the particles. They are just stopped because they are not being affected by the surface, by the, by the object being there. But this doesn't matter to us. This is, this is it's not important yet. Here you have a problem, so you know this this sphere should be like linear here. The surface distance is in 0 0.1. Uh, we really don't need the distance, we need the um, volume inside. So when it reaches here, this is what's going on. So now I think I should <laughs> do this close or oh, that are around here. Yes. Animation corrected. So now saving and let's let's play with this new event we have here. Um, in the video I play for a few frames with the surface force with this but I want a push at the beginning of the animation so I'll pick the geosphereometer and you can see these particles once they are being sent they are like getting crazy here because they are being attracted by the ball and why once they Cross the surface, they are being attracted again, and it's an end of, um, you know, like gravity. So, uh, we want just these effects to be instead of attraction, let's uh, make it negative because we want to push uh, away from the ball. So, this is this is really cool. They are going crazy because they are working on both sides. So we need to make them being pushed like, just from above, not from below. And now every particle is doing it perfectly. It's too much of a force, so let's make it tinier. This is going to be good. It's going to be alright. I like this effect. But I don't want it all the time. So when this event starts, will work like two frames. And they are being pushed. Just a moment. I think three will be better. Yes. So we need to start our next node, maybe from the third frame. I remember I placed a noise, so let's make it work again here. Uh, this. We need uh, some strength in the noise, 0 0.01 maybe. Let's see what happened there. You can see it's too much. So, let's bring it to 0, 0, 1. Now we have something here, but the scale is too big. So, let's bring it down to 20. First of all, let's start this animation in the event edge from the frame 3. So, it's not colliding with the before animation. Let's add the next effect. Because we need these particles to be stick together and don't trespass each other. So let's add a particle physics right here. And this particle physics, automatically they will be colliding. So now we start to have something more or less like what I have shifted before. Interesting. Uh, I will crank it up to three in the multiplier so they are more sticky this is very good so I will add a slow operator here 
I like to find them and they easy to write so let's bring down again the multiply to 2.5 to see if we have less things happening there I think this is really nice we need to break the line here it's too straight it's not it's not like it should be so I'm going to turn off all of this for a second so I can see better the selection and fast we just need to add a noise in this selection here this is for surface test so let's add a noise a little bit <laughs> so, uh, let's see is it doing something? yes let's bring it to 20 yeah 50 again and 0 0.2 and 70 I want this to be you know more like not like this, it's too much so let's bring it down to 0 0.1 but the frequency, I want to move the frequency because I don't want this um, to be so perfect I want I want it to be moving all the time even if it's really interesting like this but it's, it's always a good move to play with everything before you decide what to do so now we have this so if you can see closely we are losing a little bit of this initial uh, ramp I like here the, the, this curve here so I didn't do this in, in the video but I'll try here I want to start it from the third frame so they are more gentle with this motion process maybe it's better let's see mm, so let's add a, a scale operator here and I want the scale to be multiplied by zero over time so we need to relative multiply by zero of course now this is really fast from one frame to another so we need to pick here a curve let me check yeah this static cover is enough and now the effect is too fast we need more frames let's make 50 and also let's play with the curves I want to easy ease a little bit more of this I'm sorry it's the opposite this one and of course let's bring this to 100 so we have more particles and they start disappearing later this is nice let's turn down the geosphere let's see what's going on yeah this is a, this is the effect now that we have this let's play with the uh, with the time measure it's in the time flow section time measure place it here pick this time flow and once we pick it, we need to select this block mesh. I'm gonna leave on the tie flow because I want to check the particle size all the time. The tie measure is really fast. Uh, use particle radius, which should be better for us. Go to the zoo read some mode, which I think is the cleanest one. And let's play with this of course we are not seeing too much here because we need more resolution so I'll bring it to, the, to half of it and we are, you start to see more let's bring it down again to two and now you see more and it's really dense right now so here you can see you can play more with everything and it's really interesting now I like more of these ripples here so this is it, this is the end of this video, the second video will be in my Patreon where I play with lighting materials and rendering stuff so if you want to know more about this process uh, uh, check my Patreon subscribe, I will link the link below uh, if you like this video just subscribe to my channels and see you next time, thank you